A crime alert tonight, firefighting fraud. A volunteer firefighter has been arrested for selling raffle tickets for a fundraiser that does not exist. In Monticello, dozens of people donated and were shocked to find out that it was all a scam. Our Haley Brooks in Monticello today, she's back with us now tonight. How did he get caught? Well, Donna, as you said, Monticello is a small town, and the first responder kept changing the story on what the fundraising was supporting. People started talking, details were fishy, and that's how police were able to figure out it was all fake. Sixty people fell victim to this scam and bought tickets from Loretta Walker, a volunteer firefighter for East Pulaski Fire Department. By the time Walker was placed in handcuffs, he collected $391. Now, I spoke with three different people who were all told different stories about where the money was going, which included money to help fire victims, new fire equipment, and 75 bikes. Very disappointed because I feel like he knew that he should not be doing something like that. That's not his job. His job is to help people and not to scam people. Walker is facing 60 counts of theft by deception, which is up to one year in jail and a $1,000 fine. As for everyone who donated, please are waiting for the okay to take money out of evidence and give it back. Donna, back to you. 